Hello and welcome to the Sunday School Classroom. In our lesson today, we're going to hear about how Jesus was at a well. Do you know what a well is? Well, let me ask you this. Where do you go to brush your teeth? You go to the bathroom? What do you turn on? The sink. And what comes out of the sink faucet? Water. Well, we can go to the bathroom, we can turn the faucet on the sink, and we can get water. But long ago, in Bible times, people had to go to a well to get water. They didn't have a sink inside their homes that would give them water to drink or to brush their teeth with or to cook. So they would go to a well. Now, let me explain what a well is. Deep, deep down in the ground, there's water. So people would dig, 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 dig deep down into the ground. They would dig a hole until they got to where that water was underground. Well, when they found that water and it started bubbling up, they would build a well, like a little wall around that hole. And that's where they would go to get their water. They would take something, maybe like a bucket or a jar or a pitcher, and they would travel all the way to the well every single day lower the bucket down into the well, lift it back up, and it would be full of the water that was down deep in the well, and they would carry it all the way back home. That's how they got water long ago. Well, Jesus and the disciples had been traveling. Would you like to pretend to walk, 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 walk? They had been traveling around teaching about God. Well, they had come to a place called Samaria. Jesus sat down by a well. The disciples went on into the city to buy food. So here was Jesus sitting down beside this well. And a Samaritan woman, a woman from that city, came out to get water from the well. She had her bucket or her jar. She was ready to get some water and take it all the way back to her home. Well, when she got there, Jesus saw her coming and he said, could you give me a drink? Well, she didn't know why Jesus was talking to her. She was a Samaritan and he was a Jew and they didn't usually talk to each other. And also she had done a lot of bad things. Nobody wanted to talk to her. In fact, she was coming all by herself to the well. She didn't even have any friends to come with her to get water. Well, she was thinking, you're going to talk to me? That surprised her. Well, then Jesus said, if you knew who I was, you'd be asking me for living water. She looked at Jesus and said, huh. You don't even have a bucket. You don't have anything to get water with. And Jesus said, you know, I know you've done some bad things. And he listed off the bad things that she had done. Oh, this surprised her. How did he know? She never met Jesus before, but he knew every bad thing she'd ever done. She said, you must be somebody very special. And Jesus said, I am, I am the Messiah. This was the first time that Jesus told anybody that he was the Messiah, the Savior. Jesus said, I can give you living water bubbling up inside of you. Not like the water that you get from the ground and that you drink, but this bubbling up inside you living water is what will last you all the way into eternity when you can live in heaven with God. Well, Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the Savior. And she finally gets it. Wow, Jesus is the only one who can give us eternal life and offer that living, bubbling up water that lasts forever and ever and ever more. Jesus is the Messiah. She said, oh, she ran all the way back to her home and she told everybody, she said, come and see, come and see, come to the well with me. Jesus, the Messiah, the Savior is at the well. He told me everything I'd ever done, all the bad things. Nobody but Jesus could know that. So she said, come and see and told everyone about Jesus. Well, that is a pretty special story, and I have a pretty cool craft for you to make today to help you remember it. So let's head to the art table. For our art project today, we're going to make a little bucket for water. So I have just one of these little medicine cups. Most of us have a lot of those extra. And I have a little piece of pipe cleaner, a popsicle stick, and some string. So the first thing I'm going to do, and it'll take a grown-up to do this, is I'm going to punch a hole on each side of the little plastic cup. If it's too hard to punch, then you might have to get something hard like um, a pen 
to kind of poke in the side. It just really depends on how hard your medicine cup is. So mine is in a pinch, I think. It's not too strong. So I've got one over there and I'm gonna do one on this side too. Okay, and you can kind of wiggle it around if you want to to make sure you get that hole. All right, the next thing we're going to do is take this uh, pipe cleaner. We're gonna poke it through that hole. Just a sec, let me poke that a little bit better so I can get into it. Right. All right, so I'm gonna get that side over here. And you could also use one of those little bathroom cups. If you have that, that would be fine too, especially if you're having trouble getting your plastic punched. All right, so this one's gonna go on this side. And that's gonna make like the little handle for, for the little bucket. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is just take a piece of yarn and I'm going to tie it to popsicle stick right in the middle. And I'm going to take the other end and I'm going to tie it to the handle of the little bucket. Okay. And then there you have it. And I actually could uh, lower this down into a little thing of water and actually draw out some, some water. So that would be a cute little activity for today. Actually draw out some water from a bigger bowl and play with that today if you'd like. So here is that little art project. Give you a little closer look at that. There's the little bucket and there's my little thing to kind of re lower down and draw up some water. And I wanna read you something from the Bible because I want you to know that the stories that we tell in our Sunday school Bible study come from the Bible. They are true. The Bible is God's word, true and trustworthy and we can learn so much from it. It says in John four verse 29, come see a man who told me all things that I ever did. So that's what the lady said. She said, come and see, come and see Jesus by the well. Well, I hope you enjoyed our class today. I have a song. It's called Bubbling Up. I'll put the link to below so you can do that for your music time. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.